Good morning, tubers, and welcome once again to Deep Within the Bowels of Dr. Jet's Laboratory, located in a non-disclosed location somewhere along the California coast. <clears throat> Today I'm going to talk about the 120th scale Atlas all-wood hydroplane. First of all, a big shout out to my good buddy Big B, because Big B is going to do a build sequence on this hull. Here before you is prototype number one. Um, there have been some revisions since then, but this was my test bed. And all was going well. I actually have a video of this thing's first run, and my strut angles were bad, and it hopped a little bit. But uh, you can see its potential. And uh, the other day I had it out on the lake, and my friend, who suffers from rather slow reaction time, was running an outrigger that was far too fast for his ability to deal with it. And somehow this hydroplane managed to hit me at a 90 degree angle and uh, kind of caused a couple of scratches here and there. Anyway, because the sponsons are all filled with uh, expanding polyurethane foam and because this is wood and it weighs almost nothing, uh, it did not sink. It cannot sink unless you tear off a sponson. So um, I managed to recover it, get all the hardware back, but this hull is now trash. But uh, I'm going to use it, at, you know, uh, for helping Big B. I can use it as pointers and I'm like... <coughs> have to break something apart maybe I can anyway Big B suggested that he could put 3s on this but he's gonna go with 2s that's a good call because at 2s this thing's just about right at 3s it'll be really fast and what's gonna happen is this hydroplane is going to become an aeroplane and in fact, it's going to become an aeroplane without any aerodynamic control surfaces. And so it's going to be an uncontrolled aeroplane, and the results won't always be good. It's real easy to blow these things off the water with 3S, trust me. <laughs> 2S is just fine for that. Besides, 2S is cheap. And ever since, oh geez, the, when would it have been? The mid-1990s, we flew Speed 400 pylon racers. And, you know, we had our own boat racing team at the time. And we all used the same motto, fast, cheap, and out of control. And so that's kind of what we're building here. Fast and cheap. Fast enough. And really... The point of this, it's a scale boat. So the point of this is looking good while you go fast enough. Now, for example, up in the Northwest, there's a whole group dedicated to one-tenth scale racing. That's twice the size of this thing. And, you know, 16 times the cost. So the cost goes up as a cube of the size. And so these things are fun, they're, they're inexpensive, and they look good. And for the first time ever, I am about to reveal, if I can find it here without breaking anything, this, here's part of it. <gasps> Why, that looks like little Bill Muncie, and he's sitting in his office, his office of diamond tuft upholstery, and that fits right here on this, and look at there. Doesn't that look almost like the 1978 Atlas Van Lines Unlimited Hydroplane? Yeah, we're getting close. So, I'm posting this video because there may be some interest in this. I've got a couple kits left, um, and I'm going to post my information down below. So, have fun. Watch 
Big B's video, Big B is entertaining as hell. I'm just kind of, eh, but Big B has more fun than a human being should be allowed to have. So I highly recommend you watch his channel. Until then, jet out.